Hello and welcome to Learn Twin Flame Tarot. So today we're doing the Divine Feminine Message Tarot and we're going to do a nine card angel spread. So I'm going to do it very easily today. So it's easy to understand how to lay the cards out. So we're just going to shuffle the cards very slowly and we're going to set the intention. What do we need to know? What do we need to know, please, angels? What do we need to know? So remember, when you're doing this, you may have a question in your mind. You may have a question in your mind now. And maybe you are allowing your client to shuffle the cards or they have a question in their mind as you shuffle the cards. But when you know, you know. So when the cards are ready, they will let you know by the way you feel, your intuition, and they may even come to a physical stop. And that's what's just happened. So I'm going to split the deck now in three. And then I'm going to put the cards back on top. And you can see as I put the deck up, there's a couple of cards sticking out. There's two cards, that, no, one's gone back in. So if they need to, they'll come out. So I've got two cards as clarifiers, which we're going to do at the end. And then we're going to put the spread out. So card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's your spread. So that can be how easy it is. You know, you don't need to do the way I do, where I just kind of pull the cards as I go or, you know, you get used to it in time. So if you're just learning, just do it that like that. It's as easy as that. So these two cards, one of the three cards here at the back, we're going to do them as clarifiers at the end. So the first card is subconscious hopes and fears. So these are things going on deep within. So the card is, I am ready to speak my truth. So deep within, the divine feminine knows that the divine masculine is ready to speak their truth. This is also a subconscious hope. The feminine hopes the masculine can come forward and speak their truth, speak love. Tell them how they truly feel. But it's also a bit scary. It's a fear too because we don't know how we're going to feel when that happens. We don't know what it means. And it can be a bit scary because we wanted it so long. You know, when it actually happens, it can be a bit scary too. So the Ace of Swords is about decisions and speaking the truth and opening up. So this is the, the reason we're asking the question as well. Because you may be thinking, are oh, you going to open up? Are you going to speak your truth? Divine masculine, are you going to tell me how you feel? So this divine feminine is wanting to have a conversation of truth. And the next card is the conscious or the current issue. So the issue around this is, I know that you want to treat me right. So you know it's taking time because the divine masculine needs to do it right. So the king of pentacles is someone who's very focused and determined. So the masculine here is very focused and determined to do it right. And that may be slowing things down. And the feminine is aware in the gut, you know, I know that you want to treat me right. I know you want to make it right. The third card is the subconscious or the higher advice. So this is the advice coming from heaven. I am trusting you to find your way. The page of pentacles is a card of spiritual growth. So the angels are reminding the divine feminine to have patience and to trust the divine masculine to find their way to do it right. And that's going to move everything forward in divine timing very powerful so card number four is the energy received from the universe so the energy is the six of swords i'm moving into easier times i feel peaceful and calm so the energy coming from the universe is a peaceful energy calmer waters the light at the end of the tunnel knowing what to do feeling easier about this journey not struggling so much the energy of surrendering giving it to god and card five is the energy from the immediate surroundings. So things going on around you are the ace of pentacles. I am grateful for all of the opportunities and all of the blessings flowing into my life. So this divine feminine is taking advantage of the situation by really expressing who she is and embracing everything around her. Looking for the blessings, being grateful, you know, focusing on herself, opportunities, things she loves to do. And that's moving things into place. And card six is the energy received from near ones. So these could be karmic people around, family, friends. I am transforming through the pain. So the people around that may be bringing in pain or causing pain or allowing the feminine and the masculine to grow. So the death can be connected with karmic endings, ending of one way of life, to bring in a new beginning. The death card is about the transformation we go through to move to union and the ace of pentacles also an energy around december to april so big shifts and changes happening between december and april this is also about things feeling easier since june as things have moved has moved ahead so the big message is people around karmic partner 
family friends are actually helping the masculine's journey because they're allowing them to transform and remember everything and everyone can be a catalyst to union in some form card seven is the energy you are sending to others and that's the wheel of fortune so you're saying to everyone here the universe has got me you know the universe has got my back i know that i am safe and loved so people around you see your power because you trust the journey and the energy you send to the surroundings is the sun I'm focused on the good things in life that remind me to shine. So this divine feminine is in her power. She is shining bright. She's sending that love and light out to the, the universe, to the surroundings, to other people. And she's in the energy of power. And the outcome, you know, the energy that you're manifesting in the universe is the queen of wands. I am feeling creative and passionate about my goals. And this is someone who's very confident and very knowing that this love is real. And that love will conquer all. So this is a very positive reading because it's showing the feminine is in power, trusting the love. Now we've also got three clarifiers. So these cards are the Ten of Cups. I am excited about our future. And that's knowing that union is ahead. The Fool is I am embracing the life of my dreams. Knowing that everything is moving forward and allowing yourself to follow through on your plans. And the Three of Cups is I am ready for our reunion. So these are great cards to come out as clarifiers because it's promising reunion and union and that leap ahead that the masculine will make their move and bring you back together. Such a great energy. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.